What's going on? It's Mitch Wilderness Games, and tonight we're going to see what's behind this paint on my trap and field cabinet. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so to do this, I'm going to use alcohol. This is kind of a, an experiment. I don't know what's going to happen, but um, I'm going to test the spot first. I mean, this art right here, literally I can see art. Different colors. I, I'm, I'm going to start working. If it works, okay, I'm going to start working on it. If it works, then we'll lay the cabinet down and do it for real. Well, there's certainly art there. It's not some red over in this corner. Let's try to free that up. Again, it's possible that the alcohol is going to destroy that art. So if it's coming off pretty faded looking and not so good. So right here we have a yellow color with black lines going through like stripes and then a maroon color next to it with some black cutting through it. It's faded, hopefully not from the alcohol, but it might be. But I believe that's this. Right there. Orange with stripes or red with stripes and then like a pinkish color right there. And on the cabinet, it looks like this. I believe that is Street Fighter 2. I might not be able to save this art. I mean, it's been painted over. It might have been sanded, I don't know. It might not have been. I don't know. So we'll just, we'll just see what happens. We'll just see what happens. You, you guys there? You are. Okay. This side's a bit more abrasive, maybe we'll take it off easier. I see the word street. It's going to look um, very washed out, very white. I don't know if it's because the alcohol or because it was sanded. I'm not sure. And that's a kind of a tough pill to swallow. You know? Because, like, am I destroying this vintage, amazing factory side art? Maybe.
to add a bunch more. Doesn't, probably doesn't help that my sponge is like saturated in black paint right now. It's like moving ink. It doesn't take long for seeing it get filthy. Okay, go to the clean side. So here's what we have. All in all, not really too bad, you know? I mean, it's, it's not perfect, it's, you know? <laughs> it's not very clean. It's still, still pretty rough. Yeah, so it's Capcom. It's Capcom right there. 1991, Capcom USA. Has some purple in there. Still a lot of black on it. Especially near the bolts, carriage bolts. Um, all in all, it's kind of a faded, mottled look. But the colors are there. It's just not very vibrant. This Ryu though, man, it's pretty cool. This is uh, a track and field cabinet. And if I would have Street Fighter 2 World Warrior, which is my, my favorite Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter period by far, if I would have a World Warrior cabinet, it would be in a Z-back. You know, dynamo action. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be in a track and field cabinet. That's for sure. The button layout is all wrong. The buttons aren't in the right spot. It's just. It's absolutely. It's a centauri cabinet. It's not the right cabinet. And uh, I'm gonna convert this back to a track and field. So um, yeah, this art's gonna come off. And I don't know if I'll be able to take the art off in one piece. Um, the answer is probably no. But it would be great if I could and then use it as art in my arcade you know like framed it that'd be pretty sweet even though it looks like garbage it's still pretty cool that it's like literally original art printed by capcom 
I mean, this is so much cooler than reproduction by a modern company. So, it's unfortunate that it got uh, faded for whatever reason, whether from my stripping compound of alcohol or not. I don't know. So, I'll see what else is out there for stripping compound. And um, I'm going to leave the other side alone for a while. Because it's going to be a long time before I convert this to a track and field. It just is. i got a lot going on right now. Um, my wife is pregnant. Like seven months pregnant. So we're going to have a baby soon. And um, uh, I'm going to want to use that money for that. Instead of, you know, spending 300 bucks on a board set. And et cetera, et cetera. So um, it's going to be family time for quite a long time. However, I do have... One last pickup for my arcade down here tomorrow morning. So stay tuned for that. See the other side of the cabinet? You can see this art on this side as well. Down here. There's some scratches. And it's exposed some of the art. And it doesn't look faded. Look at that, I'm able to take this off my fingernail Look at that Oh yeah Dude, the black paint is coming off of my fingernail That'd be pretty, uh, pretty hardcore, huh? <laughs> Scraping a cabinet with your fingernails. <laughs> uh, that'd be great. That'd be great. I mean, unless I can find a tool that allows me to scrape like that without doing damage, you know? Dude, that's crazy. Look at that. I got this card when I bought my Switch, like... A couple years ago. Okay, guess what, people? Just did scraping for about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Look at that. That's pretty sharp. <clears throat> Doesn't have all that fading like the other side does, so that must have been from the alcohol. So unfortunately, I didn't figure this out in time, and I faded the other side with alcohol. Um, yeah, basically ruined the original artwork on the other side which is kind of soul crushing because this is um, very valuable original Capcom printed period correct artwork um, yeah I'll probably have to spend a lot of hours scraping that to get all of it <laughs> it's huge I mean, it's not completely terrible, you know, you can see it, it's there, but it's very washed out, and I'm convinced the alcohol did that, I really am, this, this looks like alcohol damage, so there's one less original Street Fighter art out there, that looks really good, so it's a bummer, but again, I do plan on turn this, turning this into an original um, track and field again, so I I was really planning to take it off anyways, you know, and put track and field art on it But I don't know. We'll see but the other side I'm pretty sure if I just keep scraping away There's the Capcom at the bottom if I keep scraping away I can make it 
look really good. It's just going to be a lot of work, man. A lot of work. All right, so Mitch, with all his games, I got to run. Wife just got home with dinner. Uh, no, with dinner with um, groceries. So I have to go grab the groceries so we can cook dinner. Anyways, uh, this was an experiment to see if alcohol would work out well. Um, it might work out good for painted cabs, like um, permanent painted cabs, like by Williams. But it does not work out well with side art that is a decal because it will completely bleach it and, ma and make it really faded and kind of like take all the color and vibrancy out of it, saturation of colors. Um, the other side, I'm going to scrape because it seems to be coming out perfect. So, um, anyways, this is Mitchell Williams Games. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, if I ever finish that this year, I'll make another video and show you what it looks like. See you.